Hello friends, welcome to Civil Engineering exam. Today we are going to see the MCQ related with Harbour Engineering in the topic of Port Planning. So first question, the most common cases of ship berthing is option A, end berthing, option B, both A and C, option C, dolphin berthing, option D, turning basin berthing. The correct answer is option B, both A and C. Next question, the size of single standard dash long container is used as in indication of the container ship size of capacity option a 10 meters option b 10 feet option c 20 feet option d 20 meters the correct answer is option c 20 feet so next question a yeah, ship striking the dock wall at the angle of dash generally produce maximum impact option a 45 degrees option b 60 degree option c 10 degree option d 90 degrees the correct answer is option c 10 degrees Next question, DWT stands for option A, design weight tonnage, option B, design water tonnage, option C, dead water tonnage, option D, dead weight tonnage. The correct answer is option D, dead weight tonnage. Next question, midships is the horizontal point halfway between dash and dash, option A, heel and deck, option B, forward perpendicular and after perpendicular, option C, load line and water line, option D, none. So the correct answer is option B, forward perpendicular and after perpendicular. Next question, DWL stands for option A, design water line, option B, dead weight line, option C, design water load, option D, dead weight load. The correct answer is option A, design water line. Next question, the height of ship's side between the water line and the deck is known as option A, port board, option B, free board, option C, beam, option D, none. The correct answer is option B, free board. So next question, the Stevenson equation used to determine the approximate wave height within the harbor is applicable to the distance of dash from the entrance and where the harbor is well protected by the vertical sea well. Vertical sea wall, option A, 20 meter, option B, 10 meter, option C, 15 meter, option D, 25 meter. The correct answer is option C, 15 meter. Next question, the width of entrance channel of medium sized harbor is option A 160 meter to 260 meter, option B 100 meter to 160 meter, option C 120 meter to 200 meter, option D 260 meter to 300 meter. The correct answer is option B 100 meter to 160 meter. Next question, the minimum dimension of turning basin should not be less than dash the length of the largest ship. Option A twice, option B thrice, option C quadrice, option D none. The correct answer is option A twice. Next question, the depth of the harbor is determined by the equation option A D dash plus H by 2 D double dash, option B D dash plus H plus D double dash divided by 3, option C D dash plus H by 3 plus D double dash, option D D dash divided by 2 plus H plus D double dash. The correct answer is option C, D dash plus H by 3 plus D double dash. Next question, dash clearance under the keel is necessary to permit the navigation at the lowest water level when ships are fully loaded. Option A, 10 cm to 100 cm. Option B, 30 cm to 50 cm. Option C, 40 cm to 100 cm. Option D, 50 cm to 120 cm. The correct answer is option D, 50 cm to 120 cm. Next question, the location and the extent of breakwater depends upon the option A, minimum size of harbor, option B, direction of waves, option C, configuration of the shoreline, option D, all of the above. The correct answer is option D, all of the above. Next question, DAS is the displacement tonnage minus lightweight tonnage, option A, net tonnage, option B, dead weight tonnage, option C, gross tonnage, option D, none. The correct answer is option B, dead weight tonnage. So next question, the weight added to improve the stability of ships when it has discharged its cargo is known as option A ballast, option B dead weight, option C gross tonnage, option D cargo tonnage. The correct answer is option A ballast. Next question, dash is not the component of harbor, option A dock, option B jetty, option C squat, option D turning basin. The correct answer is option C squat. Next question, a DAS is the refrigerated cargo ship typically used for transport, transport perishable commodities. Option A, row row ship. Option B, naval ship. Option C, container ship. Option D, reefer ship. 
the correct answer is option D reefer ship next question mean sea level adopted by the survey of India for reference is located at option A Mumbai option B Goa option C Chennai option D Tamil Nadu the correct answer is option A Mumbai next question dash helps to determining the elevations of the bottom of water body option a windrows diagram option b isometric graphs option c hydrographic charts option d hydrologic charts the correct answer is option c hydrographic chart next question the weight of ship when built is uh, shipyard including all forming machinery decking etc is option a dead weight tonnage option b lightweight tonnage option c standard displacement tonnage option d none the correct answer is option b lightweight tonnage so next question filimosol mark or the load line is marked on the dash of the ship option a bilgi option b draft option c beam option d hull the correct answer is option d hull next question dash is used to carry out maintenance work of vessel option a wet dock option b dry dock option c pier option d wharf the correct answer is option b dry dock next question the depth of the keel of the ship below the water level for a particular condition of loading is known as option a draft option b please small mark option c load line option d unsafe depth the correct answer is option a draft next question beam of a vessel means the dash of the vessel option a width option b length option c height option d cross section the correct answer is option a width next question data on winds temperature and rainfall in india is obtained from option a hydrographic office of navy department option b national geodetic survey department option c meteorological department option d none the correct answer is option c meteorological department Again, we will see next video. Thank you.